Good morning, Steve. Today I'm going to review an Amazon product that I think is excellent value. It is the Van Hergen Shave Set, $25 US. It includes a mug, bowl, shaving dish, a stand, a best um, badger, and I've just put today's razor, which is the 103 Icon open cone, sitting on a MR5 handle. Now this is very nice. You can't put the mug in there, it's too big. So I'll just drop the brush in to into the water, warm up my handle. It also comes with a soap. Now, in the picture on the box, whoops, that appears to be silver. So I thought it came with a tin, but it only came in a plastic container. No harm, no foul, small amount of... Now, at the moment, it's not available for shipping to Australia. When I purchased it, whoever sold it, sold it through the Amazon um, store directly and they shipped it to me. It was about 12 or 14 dollars shipping. So I ordered a few things and got me money's worth. I think I bought um, 24 packs of their deluxe soap which is sitting behind me. I shaved it the other day. So load it up. Now yesterday I looked at the um, uh, eBay um, cheap bowl and stand for about 10 bucks by the time you pay the conversion rates and uh, things you know 10 15 dollars for an ebay one about 50 dollars for this one difference plastic bowl or stainless steel um cheap plastic versus what you get in the van der Hagen for 50. it's got plenty loaded there uh, if I was looking to buy myself to last a while, I'd probably go for the Van der Hagen. Um, get someone to buy it for me, forward ship it or whatever. Right. Load it like you hate it, beat it like you love it. Right, well, doesn't take very long and we've got leather. Bit more water, I think, and a bit more water. And there we go. We've got a bowl full of leather. Okay, face prep. I've already had a shower this morning. I've got chores that require me to show my face in public, so. And I've already sculled my morning cup of tea to get me started. Okay, uh, drop of the homebrew coconut oil shaving cream. Mm. Again, get it down to those areas where you know you have troubles. Because you put it on, you don't have trouble. It seems a pretty straightforward solution. Okay, here we go. Now this has only had a couple of shades on it and being a big knotted badger, I'd say it's at least a 24, maybe even a 26 knot. It is a big knotted badger. It's got very soft hairs, although not a, definitely not a um, silver tip. Uh, can't complain about, in fact, the fit and finish of everything was pretty good. I think I saw that they'd uh, slightly off center where they printed the icon on there. You know, it wasn't directly in the middle, but you know, do you know how much time you spend looking at these things? Once when you pull it out of the box. That's a nice leather. Now, the tech. I only bought the head from Court Shaving in the UK. 
which worked was about $30 UK, about £33, which worked out to about $65 or $70 at the time, just for the head. So I had a handle. First time I've actually shaved with it. So I'll tell you what I feel. Compared to the other earlier ones, the 101, 102, which tend to be machined out of thicker aluminium, this one is thinner. Um, I'd say at least 30 or 40 percent thinner. Uh, it's also the comb on the edge um, is just had the edge buffed off it and like a lot of open combs like that that means that uh, you can feel the edge of the thing and you can hear the blade so although I can't the blade doesn't have like a lot of feeling of blade exposure I can definitely hear it so I definitely know the blades there and it's working it's a um, not a silent shaver second pass It's the thing I like about the three part razors is you can almost always almost as long as the thread is giving enough and uh, the head is machined to a pretty normal standard you can interchange handles which allows you to pick the handle you like. I think I picked one of my less aggressive blades for the razor, uh, a shark, but it's definitely sharper than the, uh, let me think, not the derby, it's definitely sharper than the, uh, one sec, definitely sharper then the i can't remember the name but it'll come back to me and i can't be bothered doing my memory trick this morning i've been collecting right the only blades that don't really have a russian blade so i've tried ordering them and they had to refund me my money because the order went missing so whoever's out there shaving with my blades didn't cost me anything enjoy <laughs> If I notice the delivery man's got a particularly nice um, close shave, I'll ask him because someone, no one's shaving them because they didn't turn up here. I got it. And then, of course, um, Nick shaves. They went from 10 bucks delivered for 120 mixed um, razors. Nick shaves with them and says how good they are. Everyone jumps on eBay, so they put up the price to 16 or 18 dollars. Now, obviously, that bubble will disappear, but oh, I can't blame it. That is the entrepreneurial spirit. Congratulations to the eBay seller for picking up on the rise of demand and going, here's me chance to feed me family. <sighs> now, unlike my 26C, which is chromed and very rounded on the edges of the razor, so... This part here on the, here it is, comparing them side by side, you can see that this one is very rounded, as, whereas this one is very, now it just makes a difference on feel on your face. Uh, it doesn't hurt, it's very well made, it's machined aluminium. Uh, on a good stainless steel handle, you pretty much got something that'll last you until the day you accidentally drop it on a hard floor. You know, um, like any razor, they don't bounce. So if you've got concrete or tiles, put a bath mat down and save your razor because anything that's in a wet spot will eventually get dropped, if not by you, by someone else. And as they say, keep everything sharp out of the way. If you've got kids and visitors who are going to come to your house and use your bathroom, safety first. 
Well, we'll just go on and clean up here. Again, just the usual spots. Now, got a little bit watery so if you can give it a good beat. So, ah, all the water settled in the bottom, but that's fine. I just want to do this last part. This is beard reduction. This is just about making sure that today it's 18 hours before I feel my face hair starting to grow back. And you can't do that in two passes. Anyone who tells you that the, they got baby smooth in two passes, I don't know, unless they're using a straight or they're lying, I don't even know if you can do it with a straight. I don't shave with a straight yet. It's one of the experiments. I usually experiment with my shaving, as I said, of an evening. Microwave things, mix different soaps. It's my experimentation time. See if I can make a better shaving cream but so far the best pre-shave has been just simple coconut oil i do know that macadamia nut oil is also a brilliant one some people mention the wonderful benefits of jojoba oil it costs a bit more i don't know if it's like good um i read that it's a wax and i would generally try to keep a wax out of the equation might be good in your hair because it'll stick a bit and leave a coat in your but I like the oil because it re replicates what your body would naturally do in coating your hairs to protect them. If you don't realise your body exudes oils and they're there for a purpose. They look after your hairs. They actually travel down the hairs. And it's what you wash off when you're in the shower. Now that is... I like this razor. I like this razor. I... Although the, tomorrow I'm going to shave with the 101, which is the open comb and bar. Uh, and it has a, the bar side is definitely more aggressive. And it does a really good job of getting close from my par shave experience. But if I was looking for just a straight open comb, for the first time, the reason I got the other one, I wanted to try both shaves. Wow. Slip sliding away. All right, let me just quickly get cleaned up here. Pull the plug. Right, the Van der Hagen. Good shaving soap. Grab an extra puck of the Deluxe so you can compare it with the standard one that comes in your um, box. Uh, they're uh, not, yeah, they're a hard soap. They're not rock hard, uh, but they are a firm soap. Um, you'll get lots of shades out of it. Very good value. This, if you can get someone to toss it in the mail for you from Amazon or you're in the position that um, one of the Amazon sellers are shipping to Australia and you're looking for a good one-off. You don't want to buy cheap crap. You can't, ex look, the cup alone is worth about 30 bucks posted to you on its own. So a good stand, excellent brush, nice soap to get you started. They do have a way more expensive one with their own razor in it. I wouldn't touch that if it was on fire to put it out. Um, the, you're better off with a dozen other razors over the Van der Hagen razor. It, I've looked at reviews, I've looked at the pictures online, I've shaved with things similar. I reckon they're not that good. But the actual plain box, they do have a cheaper version of this. It, uh, it's got a smaller cup. It, um, it's just a small bowl, um, slightly up from the eBay one. It has a cheaper brush, cheaper... This, I wouldn't bother with that. If you're gonna spend any sort of money and get it off eBay and you want something to give as a present, you want something to keep for yourself um, and it's someone you like and who doesn't like themselves, I definitely go to Van der Hagen. The 103, I am a fan. Beautiful shave, baby close, smooth. I'm just gonna witch hazel and uh, don't even need to run the, look, just for the heck, I'll just, can't be, oh, do need a wet. I just discovered 
It's a zero sting. I didn't even have to do that to find out that there's just nothing there. It's it's just amazing. I'm really happy. Um, I'm going to witch hazel, Nivea, and clean up me dead. Have a great day. Remember, while it's nice to be important, it's way more important to be nice. And the wet shavers prayer. Good friends, good food, good shaves. Amen.